7 Reasons Why Python is the Best Programming Language for Data Scientists and AI If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and AI expert from scratch, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm about to reveal the top reasons why Python is the best programming language for data scientists and AI. If you are wondering which AI programming language you need to learn first to improve your prospects for kickstarting a career as a data scientist, then the answer is quick and straightforward. Python is, without a doubt, the best language to start with. Today, I'm going to share with you seven reasons why Python is the best programming language for data scientists and AI. Number one, the simplicity of Python makes it easy to learn. The primary advantages of Python are it is intuitive and straightforward. Python is easily readable and fun to learn as well. This programming language is likable because even a novice can get a result without getting lost in code. In Python, the emphasis is on natural language. Hence, you have a simplified syntax. The other thing is you can write Python code fast and execute it instantaneously. All of these factors make the entry barrier to learning Python really shallow. When you compare Python to other programming languages such as R, C++, or Java, setting up the right environment to get started is really a breeze. You may be wondering, is it difficult to code using Python? The answer is an emphatic no. I assure you, if you can read and write basic English, you can code using Python. I can confidently recommend Python as not only the first programming language you need to learn, but also the best programming language you can learn. The reason why I say Python is simple is because anytime you want to learn a new skill, it is pretty easy for you to learn if you can break it down into easy, digestible steps. This is the area where Python beats all its competitors hands down. Unlike Python's nearest competitors, such as C, C++, and Java, which are quite complex, Python is simple. Now, let me answer your next question. Where can I learn Python quickly? AI Science's Python Machine Learning Crash Course for Beginners on Udemy teaches you Python from scratch. In this hands-on online course, you will implement many, many projects in live coding sessions. This short course will also help you gain a complete understanding of how to find mistakes in the code you write and fix them immediately. Number two, Python presents you with a choice selection of libraries. A wide selection of libraries makes Python the best programming language used for AI. But what is a library? A library is a single module or a set of modules published by various sources, such as PyPI. A library essentially includes a pre-written piece of code. This code allows you to perform different actions or reach some functionality. Python libraries provide developers base-level items and eliminate the need to code them right from the beginning every time. Machine learning, ML, requires constant data processing. The greatest benefit of Python's libraries is that they allow you to access, manage, and transform data. Some of the most extensively used libraries for ML and AI include 1. Scikit-learn Scikit-learn, a free ML library for Python, features various algorithms, such as Random Forest, Support Vector Machine, and KNeighbors. This library also supports other numerical and scientific libraries of Python, such as NumPy and SciPy. Second, TensorFlow. TensorFlow, an open-source Python-friendly library for numerical computation, makes machine learning easier and faster. Third, Matplotlib. Matplotlib, a plotting library, is used for 2D graphics in Python. You can use this library in Python scripts, shell, graphical user interface toolkits, and web application servers. Fourth, Keras. Keras, a powerful free open source Python library, is used for developing as well as evaluating deep learning models. Keras combines the numerical computation power of the two libraries, TensorFlow and Theano, and makes it easy for you to train neural network models in only a few lines of code. Fifth, Stats Models. Stats Models is built on top of other libraries, SciPy, NumPy, and Matplotlib. This Python library contains more advanced elements for statistical testing and modeling. Sixth, NumPy. NumPy, an open source numerical Python library, can be used to perform various mathematical operations on arrays. Seventh, SciPy. SciPy, yet another open source Python library, is used to solve scientific and also mathematical problems. This library is built on the NumPy extension and allows you to manipulate and visualize data with a broad range of high-level commands. Number three, Pandas. This is actually an extension of the point above. 
but Pandas is a really powerful Python library and warrants a special mention. Simpler data representation is an essential prerequisite for more accurate results in data science projects. And since Pandas is loaded with an extensive set of features, this library presents you with highly streamlined forms of data representation. These handy features help you in analyzing and understanding data better. Pandas analyzes your data easily because it comprises a large set of key commands and features. You can use this library to perform routine tasks such as filtering your data in accordance with specific conditions, segregating the data according to your preference, segmenting data into smaller chunks, etc. You can also load data from an assortment of data sources such as Excel, CSV file, JSON, database, HDF5, etc. Pandas contains a huge variety of functions for data manipulation, as well as data export, import, and indexing. You can merge, split, reshape, and aggregate data using Pandas. But cleaning up data is easily the best feature of Pandas. Since data can sometimes be very crude, cleaning it before it's processed is crucial. When data is messy, it is difficult to perform any type of analysis over such data. If you still analyze this crude data, it will only result in wrong and inaccurate results. Pandas not only tidies up your data, but also makes the code clean. After your data has undergone the cleaning process via Pandas, even a quick review is enough to decipher the different sections of the data. The main point on data analysis is the cleaner your data, the better the results. You can use Pandas to customize your data and make it flexible. You can also edit and pivot data as you wish. Hence, Pandas enables you to exploit your data optimally. Number four, Python is highly relevant in both machine learning and artificial intelligence. Have you ever wondered how Netflix and YouTube, the popular video streaming services, fetch the videos that you like in a jiffy? Or how Facebook and Google find the stories that hold your interest in a flash? These highly personalized search services are powered by machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. Python is the preferred programming language used to code these algorithms. The reason is these algorithms are intelligent and they specialize in analyzing your browsing preferences and finding out your interests. Python is used in much of the R&D in machine learning, and it is without a doubt the number one choice for machine learning. This language has quickly become the most preferred programming language for both beginners and professionals. Since Python is easy to understand, data validation is quick and virtually error-free. The widely developed library ecosystem of Python helps you in performing complex tasks without relying on extensive coding all the time. Thanks to the versatility of Python, you can perform testing without any hassle. You can run tests on various platforms such as Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, etc. In both machine learning and artificial intelligence, you put data to good use so that you can make better decisions faster. Python is certainly the one programming language that is truly equipped to work with data. The versatile libraries of Python help data scientists work with data and understand it like never before. Data scientists now have the never-before chance to probe the secrets that lie within data. Number 5. Python boasts a strong group of supporters. Python has been around for close to 30 years now. The chief benefit for you is Python's community is large, diverse, and aims to grow. Great people support this great software. Python's enthusiastic user base is dedicated to spreading the use of this programming language far and wide. You can find plenty of Python documentation online, and you can easily access meaningful AI and ML discussions, especially in Python communities and forums. In these forums, you'll find that programmers and ML developers discuss common errors, solve problems, and help one another. When it comes to a strong group of online supporters, Python is way ahead of its competitors. And from the user perspective, it is certainly helpful when strong community support has been built around a programming language. Since Python is an open source programming language, there are countless resources open for programmers, right from the beginners to seasoned professionals. Python has a huge group of supporters. The upside of this is that if you experience a problem, you can easily find someone who is willing to offer you a helping hand. The discussions in Python forums and communities range from frequently occurring issues to rarely occurring issues. You don't need to worry when you have a problem that's difficult to resolve. Simply pose a question on the form and wait for a response. You can count on seasoned professionals to help you resolve your problem. You can also count on the supportive community of Python 
to help you improve your machine learning knowledge. Some of the other online resources that promote ML in Python include machine learning tutorials from Geeks for Geeks and YouTube tutorials. Corporate support is another important part of the successful foray of Python for ML. Several top organizations such as Google, Quora, Facebook, Netflix, Instagram, etc. use Python for building their products. Google has single-handedly created several popular Python libraries for ML, such as TensorFlow and Keras. Number 6. Growing Popularity Python has witnessed tremendous growth as one of the most favored programming languages among business enterprises and software developers. Stack Overflow, a reliable website, engages 40 million users every month. Of this number, 17 million users are aspiring engineers, software developers, and IT professionals. The Stack Overflow website has claimed that questions with a Python tag had the maximum number of hits in 2018 in high-income nations such as the U.S. and Germany. During the last few years, Python has shown astounding growth. I don't foresee any, quote, language war, end quote, in the near future. Every programming language has its own advantages and disadvantages. There may be some issues in the Python language that can easily be addressed by other languages such as R, JavaScript, Java, and vice versa. The point is, the developer ecosystem has evolved considerably over the last few years. But it is to be noted that Python has emerged as a renowned programming language. This versatile programming language constantly reinvents itself. The popularity of Python is growing because the programming language enables developers to stay up-to-date with trends without a need to relearn everything from scratch. The simple integrations of Python with Java, C, C++, as well as its periodic updates ensure developers remain plugged in and up-to-date. Another reason for the growing popularity of Python is that software engineers performed most programming activities in the past. But programming skills are required pretty much everywhere these days. The truth is, there is a shortage of competent software developers. Therefore, something simple is the need of the hour. We need something that even non-software engineers can handle, something that is easy to learn with smooth deployment. Python fulfills all these needs. Number seven, Python gets you hired. I put the most important reason in the end deliberately. Frequently, the number one motivating factor behind learning a new skill is to advance your career. When you acquire a new skill, you can easily diversify your job options. And in today's fast-changing world, learning a popular programming language like Python presents you with a promising career opportunity. Python is a hireable skill that can land you a job easily. If you become a Python expert, you have multiple career options even before you become a developer or data scientist. Some entry-level career options include Python developer, data analyst, and machine learning engineer. The high-growth data science market depends heavily on Python. Data scientists look up to Python for all data-related actions. This is because the open-source content of Python comprises numerous useful libraries. As discussed in point four above, Python is highly relevant to both ML and AI. And as far as AI is concerned, Python is the programming language of choice, as Python allows for simple and quick scripting for data science projects. Python is used in many industries due to its flexibility. After you learn Python programming, you don't need to worry about being confined to data science alone. You can work in varied fields such as finance and trading, web development, computer graphics, scientific and mathematical computing, basic game development, system automation and administration, mapping and geography, GIS software, and several others. The choice is yours. The other thing is big tech organizations such as Google, Netflix, and Uber use Python. Since these organizations are always on the lookout to add to their vast pool of skilled developers, it's easy for you to find a job as a Python developer in them. And smaller organizations are adopting Python too. As a result, lots of opportunities are being created to build new products and improve legacy code. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. And remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.